हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सीईएस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इफ यू वांट टू नो व्हाट इज सीईएस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन यू कैन चेक माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच आई हैव ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन सो स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी सेज दैट द इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सब्सिट्यूशन between capital K and labor L in case of CES production function is equal to 1 upon 1 plus beta. We have the formula to calculate elasticity of substitution. That is, elasticity of substitution between capital and labor is equal to partial derivative of capital labor ratio whole upon capital label ratio divided by partial derivative of marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital whole divided by ratio of marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital take this equation and take this full equation as equation 1 now the cs production function given the degree of homogeneity h as equal to unity that is h is equals to 1 the whole equation can be expressed as q is equals to a alpha 1 k power minus beta plus alpha 2 l power minus beta bracket close whole power minus 1 upon beta here though in real equation we have whole power minus h upon beta but we have taken h value as 1 therefore here we have written minus 1 upon beta now raising the exponents on both sides by minus beta or you can say that uh, uh, multiplying both sides by exponent minus beta therefore the equation becomes as q minus beta is equals to a minus beta bracket alpha 1 k minus beta plus alpha 2 l to the power minus beta bracket close or in other words when we will multiply a minus beta in the bracket then uh, the bracket gets open and this equation can be written as in this form now state this equation as equation 2 now we will differentiate this equation 2 first uh with respect to l and then we will partially di differentiate this equation 2 with respect to k differentiating this equation 2 partially with respect to l on both the sides we get minus beta q minus beta minus 1 partial derivation of q with respect to l is equals to minus beta a minus beta alpha 2 l minus beta minus 1 here you can see that in equation 2 as we were partially derivating this equation 2 with respect to l therefore this this one portion has been taken as zero similarly similarly partial derivation of this equation 2 with respect to k will be also derived now in this we will take this portion which is multiplied with partial derivation of q with respect to l here we will take this portion to this side and it will get divided as you can see here when uh, it gets divided then minus beta minus beta gets cancelled out and q to the power minus beta minus 1 which is in denominator when it is taken up to the numerator side then its power get positive and hence it becomes q beta plus 1 therefore this entire that is partial derivation of q with respect to l is con is known as the marginal productivity of labor similarly partially derivating uh, the equation second with respect to k on both sides we will get the marginal productivity of capital as you can see here that is partial derivative of q with respect to k and this equation which we will derive now taking these both the uh, equations which we have derived taking the ratio of these both equations we get ma we get marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital that is as a, a to the power minus beta is cancelled out and this q to the power beta plus 1 is cancelled out alpha 2 upon alpha 1 is left here l minus beta minus 1 k minus beta minus 1 
when l is taken to the denominator and k is taken to the numerator their both the powers get positive similarly both powers are same therefore it can be taken as due to whole power therefore now what we will do is we will assume the values consider uh, therefore we can write this as that is partial derivative of marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of productivity of capital is equals to alpha 2 upon alpha 1 and partial because these alpha 2 and alpha 1 is constant constant is taken out and partial derivation of this is done not let uh, marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital be r therefore its derivation will be derivative r take capital upon labor ratio as u its derivative will be derivative u and alpha 2 upon alpha 1 as n therefore this entire can be written as r is equals to n into this is nothing but actually this is nothing n into u to the power beta plus 1 not taking log on both the sides when taking log on both the sides we get log r is equals to log n plus beta plus 1 log u as you can see here n into u here log m into n formula is been taken to uh, put plus sign that is log m into n is log m plus n and with this log u in, uh, to the power beta plus 1 is considered as log m into n that log that is log m to the power n which becomes n log m this formula is applied here and in this case it is applied that log m n is equals to log m plus log n clear now differentiating this equation partially with respect to u when differentiating this with partially with respect to u we get 1 upon r that is log r is 1 upon r partial derivative of r with respect to u plus because we are doing with partial uh, with respect to u therefore this is zero which is not to be written now now doing this beta plus 1 is constant so it is as it is log u is 1 upon u take this u to this side it will get uh, multiplied here therefore it becomes partial derivative of r with respect to u into u upon r is equal to beta plus 1 take the reciprocals both side then you will uh, then we get derivative uh, partial derivative u upon partial derivative r r upon u is equals to 1 upon beta plus 1 as we have assumed the values of uh, partial derivative u partial derivative r r and u in the above cases as you can see here therefore writing those values which we have assumed respectively partial derivative u is partial derivative k upon l ratio similarly writing all the values we get this now as it is a sign of multiplication therefore if uh, write this figure here and this figure here and do its re reverse then this multiplication sign will be changed into division sign and hence this entire formula is of elasticity of substitution uh, which is equals to 1 upon beta plus 1 hence this first property is proved now our second property is that the elasticity of substitution value varies between 0 and infinity from the first property we derive that elasticity of substitution is equals to 1 upon 1 plus beta therefore in this uh, value we will put the value of beta putting beta is equals to minus 1 we get infinity that is elasticity of substitution is infinity we get uh, if we put beta is equals to 0 then we get elasticity of substitution as 1 if we put beta is equals to infinity then we get elasticity of substitution zero therefore from all the values which we derived of elasticity of substitution we can find that the value ranges between zero and infinity coming to the third property we can uh, from the second property it is clear that when beta is minus 1 then our elasticity of substitution is infinity therefore the ces production function assumes or becomes a linear production function when our beta is infinity that is in this case then our elasticity of substitution is zero and in this type 
our CES production function assumes the form of Leontief type production function with fixed factor proportions. When our beta value is zero, then our elasticity of substitution is one. Then our CES production function assumes the form of a Cobb Douglas production function. Now, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh properties I will be discussing in my part two video. Thank you.